guys, it's me again for the news for the 22nd of July, and yeah, here we go for the news for the day, starting off with BBC News UK on Twitter, now you can chase results or something, here we go, Teenagers Bridge Note save six, help save six lives in Sunderland, Francesco Marie wins open after holding off Tiger Woods, Justin Rose and more for Rory McIlroy. Carter Page denies FBI claims he works for Russia. Bradford Primary School has sat salt results and all. German Grand Prix, Hamilton Summoned to the stewards to put the results in doubt. I'm trying to turn my computer on so I cannot load it. So yeah. So the France, Joan Thomas keeps yellow jersey as Magnus Court wins stage 15. Girls allowed Nicola Roberts gets a CPS apology over the stalker case. German Grand Prix, Lou Hamilton wins after Sebastian Vettel crashes out. Richard Bacon, bug left me close to death for two days. <laughs> this is me trying to prepare myself for updating it. London Anniversary game, Games, Kerr, Aden, again and Sophie Han set to world records. South Africa shooting, 11 taxi drivers killed in ambush. Charles Edwards, 100 ball formats, a massive opportunity for women's games. Child seen lying over the edge of Trowbridge railway platform. Always precarious. They don't even have a yellow line there, so like no local train station doesn't even have that. Well, say not no trains are like fast and all that ever go near there. Met corruption claims and rescued by independent office for police conduct. Three year old boy seriously injured in suspected deliberate acid attack in West England. Was to England, police say. Former Prime Minister Sir John Major says. The UK could stumble into a general election. A second referendum is morally justified because the Leave campaign made a great number of fantasy promises, former Prime Minister John Major says. The danger is that by accident the UK will crash out of the EU without a deal, hurting most of most of those who have the uh, least, former Prime Minister John Ma Major says. UK TV, Dave and Gordon Long Channels dropped by Virgin Media. It's when some UK EU withdraw agreement to settle says Brexit Secretary. Residents warn not to breach school of arts cordon. Now the school of Glasgow School of Art that recently burnt down. From Putin, top US spy retracts awkward response. The mafia murdered murders that brought down Slovakia's government. Supergirl to feature TV's first transgender superhero. Syria conflict, Israel evacuates white helmets. Politician call for Northern Ireland abortion reform. Suspect gunman barricaded in LA shop. Anniversary games 2018 so now. He's edged out of London Stadium. Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool boss, doesn't care about transfer criticism. Trade war 
a reality French finance minister warns. Prince George turns five, official birthday pictures are released. In news got to stamp on tax after a campaign. Had that yesterday. Moving on to BBC News World. Somali Small, father defends female genital mutilation after daughter 10 dies. Uh, so like it came up in the Lawrence Society this year and it was an interesting topic to say the least that you were aware of but just didn't want to face and all that. With a lot of people not really agreeing to it but not really doing anything about it. Father shooter who killed man in parking dispute, free to go, police say. Jen, Jen Dostun in is unhurt and his explosion targets Kabul airport. <laughs> Scary, there's a star of Putin plates on. <laughs> In a, a souvenir shop in Moscow. And there's also Lenin, like pictures of Lenin. There's just her there. <laughs> and there's part of the history that a lot of people would love to forget. Knowing what Stalin, di Stalin and Lenin did. They're like retirements to say, I was going to say they're probably like retirements to say at least. Are all undocumented immigrants criminals? No. Israel and Arabic? Where else do languages and politics collide? Korea. Pakistan election. London Dream Mermaid. Still swimming at 78. <laughs> Austria ditches Turkish language driving fairy tests. GAA to meet the Liam Miller tribute organisers after outcry. Uh, that. So, yeah. I'll say bye for now as that sees everything and I'll see you all tomorrow. So yeah.